JP, if you are a fan of baseball, last night was for you. Welcome on the inside corner, a no hitter by a 22 year old rookie. I loved, I loved this scene after the game when all of his teammates were watching him do his post game interview. When you saw that, what were you thinking? Lauren, good morning. What a night, certainly for Reed Detmers, for the Angels organization, for Chad Wallach behind the plate. We'll get to him in a moment. But I think for me, I go back to something that Tom Verducci pointed out last week on our showcase game at Fenway in which Reed Detmers was the Angels starting pitcher. And that is that Detmers was drafted less than two years ago and had basically half a season or less of minor league baseball only about 60 innings or so of his minor league career preparation before last night's start you heard terry smith's call last night only his 11th major league start and he was able to get it done we've talked so much about the angels the positivity around this organization right now how many new starting pitchers they have of course 80 percent of that rotation is turned over and detmers their first round pick in 2020 is a key part of that he was actually born in the area of Springfield, Illinois, grew up as a Cardinals fan, went to Louisville. What a great program they have at Louisville. Tremendous players that have come through there. Will Smith, of course, the Dodgers catcher, one of them. And speaking of catchers, how about Chad Wallach? His second ever appearance for the Angels, he catches a no-hitter. Now, he's a veteran. He's been around the minor leagues and the major leagues for a long time, of course. The son of Tim Wallach, the longtime all-star third baseman. And what I love about Wallach's career he played baseball, Lauren, at Cal State Fullerton, which, as you know, is about six miles up the road <laughs> from Angel Stadium. He's from the area. He plays his college ball just a short drive away, and he comes in in his second game with the franchise, catches a no-hitter. Two very talented players in different ways, both Detmers and Wallach, but 10 days ago, Lauren, there would have been nothing on anyone's radar that said this was going to be the battery in a no-hitter for the Los Angeles Angels. But that is how this team season has begun. Congratulations to both of them and the Angels. This team is on fire right now, leading the American League West. I love how Reed's parents said they watched the game together in their living room, but they didn't speak to each other because they don't, they don't want to jinx it. But afterwards, <laughs> lots of hugs and lots of congratulations. You mentioned the Cardinals, JP. I saw the front page of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. It said Cardinals push for offensive improvement and option Paul DeYoung. Is that for a short period of time? What do you know? You know, Lauren, it's a great question, and time will tell on this. I think they have waited, and the Cardinals talked about this. Uh, they've waited for a long time to see some adjustments made by Paul, even going back to last year, and they just got to a point where they could not wait any longer. So we'll see if perhaps Tommy Edmond, a gold glover at second base, maybe gets some time at short as well. Uh, we could also see Edmundo Sosa uh, get some time once he returns back to the active roster. But this does have the feeling, unless Paul's able to make some really big adjustments at the minor league level, it does sort of serve notice to the industry the Cardinals sure. could be looking for a shortstop for both the near term and potentially the long term as well. And we talked earlier this week on this show about Xander Bogarts and Boston and what could happen there if they don't get things going. Bogarts in a Cardinals uniform would look pretty good, uh, depending on how things play out the next couple of months here. I, I do think if the Red Sox make Bogarts available, hard to find a better fit right now in the major leagues than the St. Louis Cardinals. Wow, I think of Paul and how he generated so much optimism in spring training, hoping for him he's going to find that again. Evan Longoria in the clubhouse yesterday wasn't activated. We know he's been dealing with a finger issue. What's the latest? Any updates? Lauren, the idea here is that he could be back perhaps as early as today, tomorrow, but it does appear Evan Longoria is due to make his season debut very, very soon for the San Francisco Giants. And great news indeed for an organization that's had five different third basemen already this season. So Longoria, the multiple-time All-Star, they do expect him back this week. They just got belt off the IL. This is a team, Lauren, they're off to an 18-12 and 12 start. If the playoffs began today, they would be in it. Certainly a bit overshadowed by the Dodgers. The Padres off to a great start as well. They just got Voight and Myers back. But the Giants off to a very, very respectable foundation. They're about to get even better hmm. with Longoria back in the lineup. Not 107 wins, but it'll do. J.P. Morosi on the inside corner. Thanks so much as always. Thanks,